Cyanobacteria, or blue-green algae, were the first successful oxygen-producing life forms on our planet. Billions of years ago, before the Earth had an oxygenated atmosphere, cyanobacteria's ancestors exhibited a new ability, photosynthesis. Harnessing sunlight, carbon dioxide and water, these early blue-green algae were able to produce sugars for internal energy and released oxygen, changing the planet's atmosphere forever. Blue-green algae, or cyanobacteria, are, as their name suggests, bacteria, and thus prokaryotes. All self-sustaining and self-generated organisms consist of cells. Prokaryotes, bacteria and archaea, are unicellular or single-celled organisms. Eukaryotes cover more complex organisms, such as protists, plants, animals and fungi. They can be unicellular or multicellular, making up complex organisms such as humans. Prokaryotic cells and eukaryotic cells have more common features. Both have DNA, the cell's genetic material. Both have ribosomes, molecular complexes of proteins and RNA where biological protein synthesis takes place. They have cytoplasm, the fluid on the inside of the cells that surrounds the different free-floating cellular components. All cells have an outer plasma membrane. This membrane is vital for controlling what goes in and out of the cell, which helps them maintain homeostasis. Most prokaryotes have a cell wall. Most eukaryotic cells, like plant and fungal cells, also possess cell walls, but animal cells, for instance, do not. However, there are also some big differences. Eukaryotic cells are larger and more complex. They have membrane-bound organelles and a nucleus, this way, eukaryotic cells can carry out more complex functions compared to prokaryotic cells. The organelles that conduct photosynthesis in algae and plants are called chloroplasts. Chloroplasts are in fact adapted forms of early cyanobacteria. And scientists have long searched for a theory that could explain how some eukaryotic cells have acquired their chloroplasts. They found that somewhere in Earth's history, cyanobacteria were engulfed by larger cells. The larger cell was now able to profit from the cyanobacteria's ability to photosynthesize, while the bacteria were protected from the outside world by the large cell. Almost all eukaryotic organisms that carry out photosynthesis share a single common ancestor, which means that most chloroplasts came from a single endosymbiotic event. Afterwards, chloroplasts evolved and became specific for a particular type of organism. Different chloroplasts produce combinations of different pigments, like chlorophyll A, chlorophyll B, chlorophyll C, carotenoids, etc. Because of this, different groups of algae exhibit different colors. Cyanobacteria are around today in different types of algae. Without cyanobacteria directly or indirectly providing our breathable atmosphere billions of years ago, life would possibly look very different from what we know today. Blue-green algae formed the basis of a new beginning, the era dominated by organisms depending on the use of oxygen for their survival. And hopefully, they will continue to do so for millions of years to come.